and welcome to episode two, season two of Thoughts of the Roundtable with Paul Lux and Matt Rebar. I don't even get to say my name anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be professional. You didn't I'm... even say my last name right. What did I say? What, say, how do you think my name is, my last name is? Lox. It's Lox. You only know me for how really? long. Really? Yes. Wow. You know what? I'm hungry. I'm thinking well, I of, we I think, I'm thinking of uh, bagels and lox, clearly. You bagels would... and lox? What yeah, salmon. Salmon? Lox. Lox is salmon? Yeah. Since when? I've never heard that. What are you, wait, Gordon so, Ramsay? Wait. <laughs> Have I always said your name like that? I don't know. I've never heard you say my last name now that I think of it. Yeah, well, you know what? My last name's so freaking weird. I'm just going to so call people... you Matt Rebar. Oh my god, if you do that, I'm going <laughs> to scream. Wait, so just, just for the record, Paul Laux. Correct. Laux. Right. Like, I'm Lauxing at you across Correct. the room. Okay. Well, you know what? It is only the most common last name and surname in Germany. Oh. And so is Paul. Hashtag fun So facts. literally in Germany, I'm basically John Smith. You're like, <laughs> you're like the Panera Bread of German names right now. Also, you know how Googling, you like to Google your name to see like what employers, yeah. you know, whatever. Unfortunately for me, if you Google Paul Laux, Paul Laux was a high-ranking Nazi general. Oh. So I've had employers actually Google my name and just have nothing but Nazis. And they were like, I found this old up. black and white photo from 1944, yeah. care to explain? And you're yeah, like, it's a lot of fun. yeah, not me. <laughs> well, you know, sucks to be German sometimes, I guess, Paul. I'm part Polish, too. Oh, that's a conflict. I... <laughs> <laughs> Some binaries. Uh, Paul, what's up? How are you? Today's Holy Grail. What's your Holy Grail? Oh, my goodness. It has been... One of the craziest weeks of my life. And I heard you have Fast a really fun story that's going to close us out later. Oh, man. This is... And I, I almost want you to share it now. I've in my life, but no, I'll save it. I'll just uh, phrase it like this. Um, I ended up over the weekend quasi going to a police station to turn myself in for something I don't think I did. I like how the, the key word there was, I don't think I did. Because <laughs> you're like, you know, this is going to be on the record, so I just want to make uh, it clear. Okay, so Paul is involved in some criminal activity questionable but we'll right. hear about that later um you know what i'm not gonna lie i'm a little off right now because i like when my schedule is scheduled yeah you're disheveled right now and i'm disheveled because when something goes later it's out of my control and like i promise people hey i'm gonna be here and doing this and this and this and one one of those dominoes topples it all topples mm -hmm. and i topple because i'm very fragile paul you're strong, man, but you're also weak up top. So if you get, you're like a weevil person. If you get pushed, you kind of fall, like roll over. But then you come right back up. <laughs> well, and I think people think that I'm all fun and games, which I am. I mean, I really mm -hmm. am. But like, I get really just particular about my schedule, dude. So or it's an, I mean, when you have a schedule, you have a schedule. I, I mean, I don't like anything to be bothered either. Like the, today, I was at the doctor just for a simple checkup. It wasn't mm -hmm. like five minutes. It's a Novocaine, whatever. You know, and so my appointment was at 9. What time do you think I finally saw the doctor? Oh, 9.45. Mind you, the place opened at 9. Oh, wow. So I was, oh. like, I was like number one or number two appointment. <laughs> There's no excuses. Uh, I saw the doctor at like 10.10. What? What were they doing? Literally just a checkup on a, a like follow-up on a medication. No, like, but why did it need Who knows? Her? I mean, I don't know. It's medical stuff. They were like, you know what? It was the, it was the Indian's home opener last night, <laughs> and I had to go get a couple drinks with the boys. <laughs> You see, I I am very patient, and in if I they were too, if they had opened at seven or something, that would have made sense. Like, okay, things run late, but like your first patient, you're an hour late. Like this kind of reminds me of something that annoyed me. When I was in San Francisco mm -hmm. last week. Can I, oh, can, I, can, I, can I go off on this for please. one second? Please, uh, the photos so, look great. All right, so I forgot what the bridge is called. It's not the Golden Gate Bridge, but there's a bridge out to the east. And uh, it's, a, it's, oh gosh. it's a large one. I can't. I was like the geography student right, in sixth on. grade, too. This is embarrassing. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So okay, there's, there's a bridge. It's not the Golden Gate Bridge. There's another bridge that Different gets you bridge. the peninsula to San Francisco. On it. I can visualize so it. So I have never been to San Francisco. And me and the wife went on this trip where we flew to Salt Lake City and drove all the way to San Francisco. I love it. Stopped it's a couple places along the way. It was awesome. But by the time we were getting into San Francisco, we were pretty much done with the driving part. Mind you, I'd never driven in, um, you know, Cali well, in San Francisco before. <laughs> He's like, just to clarify, I've never been to San Francisco and I've never driven in San Francisco. So I go over this bridge and it says toll bridge ahead. Okay. Didn't really think too much of it. I got, I didn't have any cash. I was like, oh. I, got, I got cards, whatever, no big deal. You know, what toll bridge doesn't take cards? I've been on a million toll yeah. bridges. And so we go on this toll and there's one that says um, easy pass, which I didn't have. And mm -hmm. another one said cash. I'm like, cool, go over there. Yeah. Go up there to the cash thing, and they're like, it's $6. I'm like, oh, and I hand them a credit card. Yeah. And they're like, 
oh, we don't take credit card. What? I'm like, this is 2019, bitch. Since when? And you're and in so San Francisco, they, like a very, yeah, like, like technical... a very, this, it's like Silicon Valley. I was gonna Central. say this is California, and so coastal. this lady just like on cue had this ticket just handed to me. So this must happen a lot. Like, it was a toll violation. And it said, like, it's unlawful to enter this bridge without sufficient funds. It's like, bitch, I got plenty of money. So, like, is it like a $25 ticket or something? It's like 25 bucks, but it's still, it's so annoying. Wow. But here comes the kid. Well, she would, like, have this, like, next or, like, here Yeah, you she go. was ready. She knew, so, she knew you were a violator. Yeah, so we just, I mean, it must happen all the time. So we went through it. <laughs> but the, is there a specific employee well, the, the, the who funny, just is in charge of the violation? The funny thing <laughs> is, is I was in a rental car. And yeah. so they, they take a picture of your plates and send it to the whoever owns a car. Oh, so yikers. Apparently now it's budget's problem. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That That's is how I got kind of a, that is a, that is a sketchy <laughs> move. Yeah, that was my first Airbnb experience too. Do you think they do that on purpose, though? Oh, they 100%, know that, like, 100%. oh, people think because we're Cause a card, well, we're a I, cashless society. I was mad about this, and so I went online and looked up, you know, uh, just how to pay this or whatever. Yeah. And before even the page on how to pay, you know, mm -hmm. their tolls or whatever, it was articles from like local newspapers in San Francisco about the scams of this bridge where they do really? that. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And not to like in towners because they all know, mm -hmm. but to like San Francisco's obviously a huge tourist place. Yeah. So they'll do that to all the people. They're like, oh, we don't take cash. Here's a fine. Oh, whoopsie. Yeah, they do. Our credit card the machine's <laughs> been broken since 2006. Apparently they do that like all the time. Oh my gosh. Apparently there's also uh, the thing they do where they have a cash. You mm -hmm. know, cash toll. Yeah. And people legitimately have cash. You know, they have bills or whatever. Mm -hmm. And go into that lane and nobody is there. <gasps> so they have to drive through and that's an illegal, you know. Wow. Oh, yeah. And there was another case of someone who drove five feet past the toll booth because they didn't know where to stop. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, you've gone too far. You have to pay the toll. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this toll, we are, we need to start an expose podcast. Our new I know, podcast seriously. called uh, San Fran Exposed comes out uh, really that was the only bad thing That's San Francisco is pretty cool dude the expensive. weather is amazing though well it's like Mediterranean out there that's like the, first, the style of weather the first two days I was there it was beautiful it was like I, I went in March it was like 60 so it wasn't yeah. too, considering what it was in yeah, Ohio it wasn't it was March, yeah. and it was beautiful not a cloud in the sky but the last day I left it was more miserable than I've been in Ohio really negative awful. or something no it was like 30 degrees and just drizzly gray rain oh, oh it was so bad and then I got sick Oh. So, you know, there's that. But uh, I was worried because when I was researching going to San Francisco, apparently there's a lot of people just crap on the sidewalk. I'm not making wow, that up. That's a thing. Really? There's like Twitter pages <laughs> dedicated to poop of San Francisco. Oh, people God. Just poop all over, like the homeless people. I don't know what's worse, that or the fact that people are actually doing research on yeah. it. Like, but I did not geez. see any poop. Okay. Well, did not see any poop. Well, you kind of are a piece of poop, so yeah. you saw yourself in a mirror. Zion National Park was better. Oh, gosh. I want to go to more national parks. I need to. Utah's weird, though. I got in trouble for making fun of Mormons when I was in Salt Lake Wait, City. Wait, so what? Um, okay, we, we need. This is going to be like <laughs> the Paul Vacation Podcast. I don't mean it to be like this, but there's so much weird stuff that happened. This is the last one, then we'll move on to you, I promise. But it was, uh, we were at that bit, that big Mormon temple over in Salt Lake City. Yeah. And it was on a Saturday, and there was a church, uh, wedding going on at this church. Aw. And I was like, I wonder what number wife it is. And I was like, 20 Aww. yards from them. <laughs> and they yelled at you. Oh, they did. They, no, no one yelled, but they weren't happy. What did they say? We, we uh, Like, didn't like, say anything, but, like, I was not invited. Like, I could tell it's not welcome there. Oops. They were like, like... In my defense, that's a legitimate question with Mormons. Come well, on. I, I mean, think it's no, Utah. It's, it's now... I think it's outlawed in the Mormon church. I think it's just... They still some, do there's it. There's some subcultures yeah. of Mormonism. Like, I like the. I, I don't even want to give names right now because... Mormonism is This a podcast will blow up for the wrong reasons. No, there's just, like, certain subcultures of Mormonism that still practice that. Yeah. But, um... Anyway, that's a different podcast because that's educational and we're not educational. No, Do no, not no. Come I don't here. know what the hell I'm talking don't about. Don't come here for education. Uh, well, Paul, let's kick it off with Not the News News. Okay. Because that is your jam. Well, I'm going to let you actually start this <gasps> one in a way because I uh, I know this is a podcast and we can listen to whatever, but the biggest thing lately is that Florida man. Yeah, That's kind of what my Not the News News has been, just all the weird stuff happening in Florida. I mean, so Florida right now, is whatever. Dude. I want you to do the challenge. So okay. all you have to do is Google Florida man or Bing it. I don't care. Florida man and then your birthday. So, like, mine would be November 19th. Yours is... October 7th. Okay. What is yours? Um, Weird. Oh, here we go. Well, the first ones are, like, 16 fun facts about October 7th, 1948. Weird. That's the first one that came yeah, up? Yeah, it's weird. But here we go. My first one is... Oh, well, this one really isn't that exciting. 
Man struck and then killed by vehicle in Milton, Florida. Oh, that's it? I hate it. It's kind of a lame one, I know. actually. Wait, should I try Cleveland Man October 7th? Try Cleveland. It's in great. case uh, people are unaware, we are from Cleveland. 216. <laughs> um, oh, God. Man dead after crash and construction zone in Stowe. That's so not even Cleveland. I, was it, it's Stowe is like 45 minutes away. <laughs> Stowe is like between Cleveland and Akron. It kind of counts. So both of mine are just kind of like unfortunate events, to be honest. Yeah, yours are just... I have two that came up. Yeah, tell you... Neither of them I really want to say out loud. Oh. So the first one is... Mine's Florida Man November 19th, the Google list. And the first one is Florida Man punched, squeezed life out of baby. That's awful. Punch and squeeze the life? I have never heard someone say punched and then squeezed the life. The other one... This doesn't... Mine doesn't get any better. Mm Mm-hmm. The next one is uh, Florida man puts semen in coworkers' <gasps> water and eleven others. Oh my, oh my god. god, sociopath! I want to know why though. Does it say why? What was the point? Was it revenge? Well, was it just... The next link is sixteen fun birthday facts. <laughs> <laughs> god, I don't know about you, Paul, but tell me your birthday facts. Uh, Did you know that your man. birthday is the day of the pear pie recipe getting invented in eighteen sixteen? Florida woman mistakes thirty seven week pregnancy for bad Chinese food. Okay, at some point, let's be real. I love Chinese, but you know, we've all had bad Chinese food. Chinese food doesn't kick. But 37 weeks? Are You're just sitting there for 37 weeks like, oh. You're past it. I mean, the baby's that, fully done at that, that point. That crab rangoon 17 weeks ago. You know, apparently, that is more common than you think of people who don't realize they're pregnant. Like, that is actually well, not an uncommon thing. I guess, part like, if you don't get your periods, it makes sense. Like, you know, you're not really, like, if you're periodless. Like, sip them by the goalie or I something. I feel like if you do get your periods and then you stop, like, I don't know, I'm very aware of my body. But then again, like, we're we both are, dudes. we're Let's both dudes. Let's, we have, yeah, we, I was going to say, you know what, this is We have canceled. no idea we, what periods feel like or act like, like but what is blood? It we just amazes know. me that this is, it's actually a common thing. Well, some people don't show pregnancy that much. That's true, Some too. people look like they're, you know... I feel like I would be that woman, though, who would be, like, very obvious, and I would do, like, the sexy photo shoot, and I'd wear, like... Well, because you'd want the sympathy, mo- be like, look at me, I'm pregnant. And what, what do you call those? The moomoos? What do you call, like, those Moo-moos. long, drapesy, floral dresses? The moomoos. It's it like my grandma used yeah, to Yeah, I, w- I would wear a moomoo if pregnant. I think that'd be awesome. For nine months. <laughs> like, I'm pregnant. Here's my moo-moo. Okay, this is going to be off topic. Um, any more not the news news, Paul? Yeah, there is plenty. I'm going to keep rolling with this. Yeah, man. roll. This is for we my time. birthday. Uh, Florida woman regrets killing thousands of swarming honeybees. You should, <gasps> honestly. Wait, what did she do to get swarmed? Because you have to do they something. Were just at, they, were, uh, they were just on her uh, barn. And so she sprayed them and oh. killed, them, killed them. But, I mean, honeybees are the ones that people, like, you can't... Wait a minute. So she... Wait, so she got killed by a swarm no, of honeybees. No, she bee. regrets killing them. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I was confused. Because I was like, honeybees <laughs> killing someone? That... No, 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 no. But why would she do that? The honeybees are endangered. Well, that's why I was I was thinking it was last year at a, a spring training game out in Arizona, and there was a massive honeybee swarm that got onto the field. Oh, wow. And they literally stopped the game and got a bee expert. And I'm, <gasps> no joke. And he came onto the field, and he had a little vacuum. Mm-hmm. And he went whoop, 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 and sucked them all up, because then they just go into this tank. There's a game like that yeah. at Chuck E. Cheese, I yeah. think, right? Yeah. Isn't it with the bees? <laughs> I, <was prevented. laughs> I got uh, kicked out of a Chuck E. Cheese in pan from one Oh, of those. tell us this. This is newsworthy. Oh, it was no big deal. It was just in uh, high school. A couple of my friends went to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, see, that's probably we got thirty eight thousand dollars, thirty eight thousand dollars, thirty eight thousand tickets, and then asked to buy the animatronic Chucky in the front, and they told us to leave. <laughs> they were like, uh, "Sir, please leave." Mm. Since you were a teen, so they were like, um, yeah. "Whippersnapper, please leave." <coughs> but no, did you, you hear the theory? Okay, I want to know your. This is right up your alley. Mm-hmm. Did you hear the theory that Chuck E. Cheese's they take leftover pizza and put them together to make new pizzas? Yeah, I literally saw that, and the first thought I had was, "This is a Paul conspiracy." It's. I don't. It's not true, though. It's you don't not, think no, so? No, 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 no. No, I mean they. I think they fast cut those things and bring them out. Okay. Like, because trust me, I've worked in the, the not I've never industry. like I've worked in the fast food industry, <laughs> and <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like, <laughs> yeah, I love when people are like, yeah, you know, I worked at McDonald's for two days, so I know how it goes. No, you can get in a lot of trouble <laughs> for that kind of stuff. Oh no, I agree. So like, I don't. I think what happened is that they just, um. I don't know. I think they just sloppy cut it and it kind of looked weird. I yeah. don't really believe that. I, no, I agree. I it's give them, just, it lo- they look weird. It looks, but, it looks really bad. Yeah. I'll give them that. But it could, also, it could also be pe- weird people staging pictures, too. You never yeah, know. Yeah, you know, so. there's a lot of weird people. I highly doubt Chuck E. Cheese would do that. They wouldn't be around for this long if they were messing with their food <laughs> like that. I just, when I saw that, I was like, wow, this is a Paul Why Laux. does that come to me? Laux. 
experience. Wow, I oh. you know what? I really you know what? Time out. I'm a sh- I'm a crappy friend. I think I've always considered your last name just be Lox. It's all right. I don't correct people usually because either. I just think of salmon Lox. Huh? Like it's just Lox. All salmon. Lox. But can, uh, Lox. Sorry. Speaking anyway, of conspiracy ahead. theories, I want to hear. What, did you watch the uh, Beyond the Curve that, that flat Earth documentary on Netflix? Okay, I didn't because I, I feel like I would be angry the whole time. It's, I just feel like I'd watch that and be angry, and I'm like, I don't want to be angry. Well, the the thing that got to me is like when they're talking about flat Earth, it's like, okay, you're just you're just dumb and all this stuff. I feel like they don't have anything better to but do than to think what, about. What about bothered me is when they'd all some go off tangents and be like, oh yeah, 9/11 and Sandy Hook, those didn't happen either. I'm like, oh okay. my gosh! Like you know, okay, you know what? To, you can like, talk about a flat can, Earth, yeah, but the second you, you say that, this, can you believe the Earth is flat? Sure, that's pretty much harmless. You just believe <laughs> the, we're sitting on a piece of paper. <sighs> but like, but like, come on now. I just. I guess my biggest thing is they genuinely believe that you could fall off the flat surface mm-hmm. of the earth. Well, there's actually a... But why is there no there's, stories? There's no photos? There's no video of that? Well, like, the, what's they explain the, that. There's, oh, gosh. There is a... Some people believe a dome yeah. that is over, so which is a flat earth, but yet there's a dome on top. Okay, that makes Some no people sense. believe there's an ice wall. An ice wall? An ice wall. And there's no photos? There's yeah. no video? Well, there's actually a flat earth cruise heading out in 2020. No oh, joke. Jesus. But uh, in in the the... The way this documentary filmed was, was great, and I'm going to spoil it, but if you haven't seen it... You know what? Spoil it. You know what? It deserves okay. to be spoiled. So there's a, Spoiler there's alert. This one, <laughs> there's this one flat earther on the uh, documentary who is seems like a legitimately pretty smart guy who has some money. And okay. <laughs> he comes up... <coughs> oh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, he comes up with this actually pretty ingenious experiment to prove if the Earth is flat around. And mm-hmm. it's actually really, really intelligent. Okay. What he does is he takes... Two posts. I think mm-hmm. they're about maybe 50 feet high. And puts them a mile apart from each other. Okay? Okay. Then he puts another post in the middle. Okay. With a hole in the middle. Okay? And so, from one of the posts on the end, he's going to shine a laser through the hole in the middle post to the other one. Okay. So, that means with a mile apart, um, if the laser goes all the way through, then that means that's perfectly level and the earth has no curve. So, oh and really, it's a, it's a genius experiment. But what happens is when he tries this, is the laser is, surprisingly, off by a few feet because the Earth is curved. So in the experiment, he actually proves that the Earth is round. And the documentary ends with him going, oh. <laughs> really? That's his, hilarious. His, his experiment proved the Earth has curved. I was going to say, I actually thought his experiment might work because it's only a mile, right? Mm-hmm. Like, if it was like... A hundred miles, and there was like a laser. Okay, that's more legit. Mm-hmm. But the fact that even by a mile, it shows mile. that we're it was just a couple curved. feet, but it proved that oh. the laser is off. So therefore, there's a natural curve. To well, the earth. they have the diagrams too of like, okay, you're standing here. Yeah. Okay, this is so like this is such a poor audio like presentation right now because you can hear me describe this, but you can't see me. So like where you're standing, let's say you're at post one, right? Yeah. Because of the way it's shaped, like you can only see. Like you see, in a line, right? Yeah. Like you stand still, you yeah, stare yeah, yeah. straight ahead. But the, because it's curved, like, like your your line of vision ends, like, yeah. I don't know. That was a terrible explanation. I apologize to all our listeners. Um, but I just love how he ended up proving, and it's a pretty simple experiment. Yeah. But he ended up proving the Earth, in fact, is Gosh. round. Well, that is the epitome of not the news. News is flat Earth theory. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, to, uh, Paul, it's time for dad advice. Dad Picked advice. up two advice columns, and uh, yeah, let's talk about it. This one, uh, dear Abby, this is dear Abby. Uh, she says, "I've been with my husband for twenty years. I'm forty three, and he's sixty three. They are no longer have a physical relationship." I know that, but what kind of? Oh, just go. Now, 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 now. Funky jams. Um, <laughs> He says that he's no longer attracted to her. Now, apparently, when they met, she was a size four. Now she's a size eight. God forbid, because... Size you know, eight? That's still skinny That's still hell. so skinny. I'm like a size 80, so I really... Ugh, I don't get it. Um, and apparently, like, you know, he says that he's not attracted to her. Um, I don't know. It's just It's a whole thing about, like, the chemistry is good, but, like, I have to be this certain There's look. a real short answer to this one. And Abby goes, well... You know, what's the deal? Like, has his body changed? And, like, frankly, you do you want a man who will love you for yourself? And she says, you know what? Time is on your side. In another 20 years, your husband will be in his 80s and still trying to find a size 4 who thinks he's sexually attractive. Well, you'll be in your prime. 
And you know what? I agree. But here's here's one thing that I have difficulty with. Can I can I just say one? Thing? Oh, absolutely. You want to hear it. my one second advice? Of yeah. This? He's bored with her. He wants to find somebody else. It's literally well, it. They've been married for twenty years. It doesn't matter. And I, uh, to me, here's my here's my crux. Don't be with someone who is going to say if they say I'm not attracted to you anymore, that's a divorce, right? Like that's yeah, to me would, that's a well. That's I wouldn't game. say it's immediate divorce, but it's at least counseling or something. I don't know. I mean, like, oh come on, you that's like me saying that. okay. Here's here's the equivalent I'm going to use. That's like we go out for a drink, and you go, I got you a gin and tonic, and I'm like, I'm not attracted to gin and tonic. Why would I have that? Like I'm disgusted. But you by were. It. This doesn't make. This is a totally no. It totally works. How is no? It doesn't. How is being married for twenty years and just falling out of attractiveness? Which you can counsel through that. Related to like, hey, I've never liked this drink before. See, it'd be different. This it, doesn't make no, any no, no, sense. No, no, no. It does. It'd be different if he was like, I'm not as attracted to you. But if he says, I have zero attraction to you, you can't just build attraction back. Sure, you can. 100%, you think? I don't 100%, know. 100%, I really. Hundred percent, you can. I think you can re-fall in love. I think you That's can... That's the same thing. Then you disagreed with me. Well, no. Love and attraction is totally different. I disagree. No, it's totally different. N- no. Yeah, no. I can love you. They're synonymous. Listen, I can love you as a friend. Yes. Love you as a podcast but, partner. But, yes. Love you as But attraction Paul is Lauks. part of love. But attraction means, like, physical, like... Not necessarily. I you think You can be so. attracted to someone's personality. Sure, it does mean that. But that's not all it means. I think, well, in the case of this story, let's go by this story. All right. I, it's definitely physical attraction, okay? And I think, okay, if you said, yeah, I am not as attracted to, let's just say the gin and tonic. You're like, eh, I'm not, like, that attracted to it anymore. You might be able to build that up. But if you're, like, at zero, dude, like, it's kind of game over. Don't you think? No. No, I don't. I really don't. I feel like it's like a video game. And no, you die. I, well, it, see, the problem is, is the dynamic of this relationship because yeah. the, I mean the age let's be honest that's kind of a, a big gap what was the age gap again uh, I'm she said she said I'm 43 and he's 63 that's pretty big so they've been married since she was 23 and he was 43 wow let's be honest I mean so he married her because of her looks and now that he's bored with her but I'm not saying that can't be built back I just reading her article of I was her I'd be I'd be leaving well it's on him not her she is 43 she she's in the prime of her life if she if she's a size 4, size 8, even size 12, 16, 20, I bet she is gorgeous well, no, I'm, and ready. I'm not, I'm, the ball's in her court because yeah. there's nothing she did. And it's just, it's all on him. And if, if she wants to work through that, that's something you can do. If not, then screw it. I say just get a divorce. I think, I don't know. I, I'm i not the first person to be like, get a divorce. But if it's 20 years, he's not attracted yeah, you to are. you. I feel like you kind of are. What? The first, your first one, get a divorce. Well, I, I would always say it's easier, get the divorce over like... I don't know, like cheating viciously or like killing your family. You know, like okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hear those stories. You know, there's people who like will annihilate their family because of some twenty year old chick. Yeah, oh who's yeah. A size four, and it's like to me, it's like just get a divorce. Like we will take, like we'll rather take the divorce over. We're thinking too level headed is the problem. I don't know, but like, okay, question. <laughs> I like how like my whole thing is question. <clears throat> you know, let's say let's say it's your alter ego. So, because I know Paul and his wife are very happy and Ball adorable, locks. and <laughs> pa- uh, Peter Locks. Peter Locks. Okay, let's say Peter Locks. You're married, twenty years, and your wife, um, Marcy Locks, just is like I'm not a marry a Marcy. I'm just saying. I'm just that was just the first thing that came to mind. Is like I'm not attracted to you anymore. Yeah. At all. Zero mm-hmm. attraction. You are ugly. Just leave me alone. Don't touch me. And you're like, we can work through that? Like, to me, that's like, well... Yeah, you can work through that. You can. You can. I feel because like... Because You know what? There's... You and me, we might be able to. I think most people, though... Because when you work. say something like that, it's 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 seeded from something else. It's not just... I don't know. 20 years, though. That's like, a long time, That's man. a long time. I've only known you for, like, one day. Because I didn't know your last name, so... That's true. So I, we're starting over. Starting redo. Fresh. I'm just... Oh, scratch, scratch, scratch. Okay, next advice. This is uh, ask a, uh, askamanager.org. I love this <laughs> website because it's like Dear Abby, but for like young professionals. So uh, my, this lady wrote in. She says, my boss asked coworkers is if my husband has violent tendencies. So she says she took a new job. Um, I guess basically, long story problem, the director was asking around the department if anyone knew if her husband 
had a tendency towards violence and should she alert security? Um, there's nothing in my history or my husband's history that indicates potential for violence. Um, the only thing I can think of is that my husband is a blue collar worker and that maybe he's being ignorant and thinking that that has potential for violence. So she says that I was shocked and humiliated, um, that he would ask the department this. So this is just gossipy, really. Damn. And so she's kind of like, you need to just ask, you need to ask her boss, like, did yeah. you say this? Did you do this? Yeah. And then, you know, based on that response, what to do, um, she says, if you're not happy talking to your boss, I would go to HR. But like, here's the thing. I think it's, it's, it's very valiant for people to be aware. Like, if you have a coworker who you do think is going through something, going up to them and asking, hey, like, are you okay? Like, I noticed that, you know, you have this big bruise that looks kind of suspicious. Mm. I noticed that, you know, something's off. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's fine. You know, if you're in public and you see kids that there's something weird. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you don't know what it is. Something's weird. There's like an adult with a kid and you're like, what? Call the police. It's better to have a misunderstanding than like for you to be a bystander and being unaware or worse yet I think is being aware in a way but not doing something the I mean, problem you, here oh sorry you gotta use your judgment I agree yeah. with you too I really do I mean if you saw something like that obviously you should yeah. report, obviously but, I mean, it's not gonna happen every day it's not like you don't, oh that you, child well, you don't turn it into <laughs> gossip either no and is, that's where he went wrong yeah I think it would have been different if he had maybe asked one or two colleagues but from the article it seems like he no, went you around go to the, the source. whole you go department to the source. no and I agree I think or to be fair, maybe you go to your spouse or to your best friend outside of work. Maybe you're like, here's what I'm seeing. What do you think? For him to go to the entire department and like go from person yeah, that's to person. Bad. That's bad. Like, are you conducting a survey? Like, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, that's where he made a mistake. So I think that's my biggest issue at that. But, it, you know, it's tough. I think people don't want to, they want to sometimes think that when someone says it's okay, that it is okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, your, your answers aren't going to be that easy. Mm-hmm. And the people aren't going to answer that easily either. But... Um, and she, the, and, uh, she answers too. She says, you know, that doesn't mean what he did was really crappy, even though it was, but, um, you know, it, the idea as well, he, he maybe had a good intention that totally went off the, but could you imagine you're at work and like your boss is like, do you think he's getting beaten up at home? And you're like, (laughs) and all the coworkers are like, uh, you know what? She has good coworkers though for them to tell her. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, but that's. You got you the biggest problem is getting out of the whole office politics. You don't want to do that, Ugh, right? Okay, Paul, I need to hear. Oh my gosh, I just broke my hair tie. How am I going to tie my hair back today? Well, you're not anymore. That is canceled. Um, <laughs> so, Paul, tell us craziest weekend I've ever had story. in my past life. So I'm gonna gonna not use any names of any companies or anything. Yeah, let's well let's just, just, just kind of. You know what? Why don't you just rename before them before I do that? Just give us just rename them. Just give us a rename. Um, I'll figure it out along the okay, way. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I'm so just going to vibe. I'm so vibing. over the weekend, I had to go get uh, flooring. I'm redoing the floors in my yeah. house. You know, pick up some flooring. So I was going to go to this uh, uh, store, you know, uh, a department store for tools and stuff. The tool store. Tool store. I was going to go to the tool <laughs> store, pick up a uh, bunch of flooring, yeah. and take it home. Which I see. It's right here. It looks yes. nice. And so I go up there, and uh, I was going to rent one of the trucks. So mm-hmm. I have a truck. Yeah. Got a little tenant car. And they're like, hey, uh, we don't have an available truck right now. I'm like, oh. So oh. I had one of my friends with me. So I was like, hey, there's a place that rents. It's a car rental place down the street. Car store. Car store. Why don't we go to the car store and pick up a truck there, rent it, come back, pick up the floor with that. Yeah. He's like, hell yeah, works, no problem. Yeah. It's actually pretty cheap. It's like 30 bucks. I'm like, hell oh, yeah. Oh, shout out to the car so, store. Who's not paying for this podcast, no. so we're not going to name you. No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we're not that legit. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we... Uh, Pick up the truck, simple, pick up the floor, drive mm-hmm. back to my house, mm-hmm. drop it off. Actually, mm-hmm. really easy. Take it back to the car store. <coughs> Car's now back. I get home, and I get a call from car store. It says, hey, were you just at tool store? I said, mm-hmm. yes, I was at tool store. And I said, well, oh, here we go. <laughs> she was so good, too. She was so good. So anyways, I go to, uh, I get a call and said, were you just at tool store? I said, yes. I'm like, well, we're getting reports. Really? Go. You were being good, Go. baby. Come on now. Go. So anyways. We are very pro-dog in this podcast. We are. Don't get us wrong. It's my dog has a dog. Um, just once in a while, though, she just... She's getting... She, she gets getting, in the way a little bit. In a loving way. She gets Go. in a lovable way. So anyways. So... Oh, my God. Taking you upstairs. So, all right. 
Rolling? Yeah. All right. So I get a call and said, were you just at Tool Store? I said, yeah. And they're like, well, we're getting a report from the police. I can't believe this. That you hit two people. I'm like, well, that didn't happen. So I called my friend. I was like, hey, did we hit anything? And she's mm. like, no, I can't think of anything. It's like, didn't think so. So I let it go. And they're like, well, we'll call you back if there's any other information. Yeah. No, they don't care. So nothing. 30 minutes later, I was like, you know what? Something's not right. Call a car store back and said, hey, is there any more information? They're like, well, they said that you hit two pedestrians. I'm like, well, that's a big change. Like and a hit and run. Like full blown. Yeah, they said I ran away then. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, well, this is obviously way more serious than I thought. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm going to call the police department in the city that Tool Store is in. Because yeah. that's where they claimed it happened. Makes I sense. Guess. Being responsible. I'm like, all right, I got a few. So I call the police department. Hey. I don't know why I said hey. They're only the police department <laughs> to deal with. So I call them and I was like, hey, I'm getting a call from a uh, car store that, you know, I <laughs> hit two pedestrians and ran off. I'm like, this did not happen. I don't know what you've heard. So I'm like, well, let us look. or Because or mind you, I haven't got a call from the police at all. Yeah. Police comes back on the phone and says, well, we have no records of any incidents happening. I'm like, no one's reported anything? They're like, no. Like, okay. So I call, I call straight up Tool Store. I'm like, hey, do you have any incidents reported of this happening? They're like, no, nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I call the security in the mall that store was in. Have any incidents reported of this? No, nothing. Nobody knows of this happening. And at that point, you have to be like, what's going on? Yeah. Because you think if totally two lost. people are, I almost said gunned down, I'm sorry, are ran down. <laughs> Like, mind you, this is a Saturday in the, like, 11 a.m. There's yeah. tons of And people. knowing this tool store, I can attest to, it's probably, like, minimum, what, like, 200, 300 cars in the parking lot, probably. Oh, yeah. At least oh, yeah. two and to five busy, people. One of the busiest malls in this part of the state. Yeah. And so, mind you, no police has called me. So no one's called the police. Yeah. Somehow, no, they, they called the traffic center of car store. Not the, the traffic center. So anyways, I that's go... So, that's I, so legit. I, I the go, traffic center. I decide to, I was like, I'm going to go up to car store and figure this out. Yeah. And so they're like, yeah, we got a call. By the way, it wasn't the police. It was a bystander that called the oh, police. Oh, like, so there's a third person involved. So it's not the police. And they're like, well, I was like, do you have any information? No. They, mind you, when I first asked them, like, what police called? What police department? They're like, we don't know. Like, what officer name? We don't know. They didn't know anything. Wow. And so I'm like, well, this is Well, weird. shout out to the traffic center right. for knowing nothing. Nothing. <laughs> So someone calls the traffic department and so like, hey, you you guys, you're, one of your tr uh, trucks hit somebody. And they're like, oh, yeah, whatever. See Can you like, just imagine, yeah. like, you're like, listen, I heard you, you hit two people. And you're like, what? And they're like, you know, yeah, like, did you do that? And then <laughs> you're like, no. And then they're like, well, we don't know what police station's yeah. involved. We don't know who the pedestrians well, are. Well, I'm like, like, I'm like panicking at this yeah, point. Yeah, I'd be panicking And so too. I go up to police department, the police department. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Like, and I talked to the police officers, like, should I file something? And again, they looked like, look, there's nothing been reported. Yeah. And they're like, and the, the officer was like, trust me, if you hit a pedestrian, she goes, you bet your ass we'd be at your house by now. <laughs> she's like, she's listen. Like, she goes, listen, we'd be there. I'm she's like, sweetie, honey, yeah. listen. <laughs> That's basically how it went. I was like, yeah, I thought so. And then she's like, yeah, there's definitely some nonsense going on. She's like, listen, so sweet cheeks. I go, he's like, you know what? I'm going to. She's go, like, listen, you hick. <laughs> I'm going to go full on detective. So I was like, I'm going to go to Tool Store and ask to see their security footage. Mm -hmm. Didn't think I'd do anything i go and i think you probably at that point were like you know what it's a long shot but if i can see the security footage make me feel bad mean, yeah and so mind you my friend who was in the truck with me was like yeah this nothing happened so i go up to tool store i walk up to cups to i still can't believe this happened <laughs> they're like hi can we I'm return like, your hammer yeah, yeah i'm like <laughs> hey can i see your security footage of the, this incident was reported happened they're like they look at me and they go Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> like, no, I do you think no. that's a common request? No. Are people like no. rolling up and being like, like, "Hey, I like, thought they'd be like, bored. I thought they'd be like, "Sorry, we can't, we can't divulge them." But they're just like, "Like, yeah, okay." You I were expecting like a Law and Order yeah. scene to go down. Like, where's your warrant? <laughs> yeah. Where's the is the but prosecutor you know, involved? Kudos to them though. They're yeah. just like, "Yeah, come on." So they like bring us behind the desk and bring up the footage, and they there's me getting you know getting into loaded my truck and all of a sudden away I go and they're like yeah nothing happened they're like yeah two pedestrians like, were not were not hit ran over and so <laughs> I almost had gunned down again <laughs> so nothing's happened since I haven't heard anything yeah. and it's been days so so but what's but the theory what's I have, what the only thing clearly this did not happen obviously this did not happen I mean maybe another dimension right there's like a so Peter Locke's got away here, with it here is my theory <laughs> yes 
When I was at Tool Store, I mm-hmm. had to move to their loading dock, which has about eight spots. Okay. And so I'm I, visualizing I the pulled into dock. the spot, and there was a van next to me with a guy in it. And mind you, this is a car rental. The numbers are all over it. Mm-hmm. It's advertisement, of course. Yeah. And so when they had a tow motor to put flooring in the back of my truck, mm-hmm. they had to go behind this guy for maybe five, ten minutes yeah. to load this on there. So he was temporarily kind of just boxed in, couldn't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't pay any attention to this guy ever. Yeah. However, my wife and my friend did who were there and said so this guy was like fuming oh, in his car God. the entire time. Just fuming in his car. So the only thing I can reasonably think of is that that guy got so mad that he actually called and reported this to Car Store. Oh and the gosh. reason he didn't report it to the police is because... Clearly, it would have been proved. a false report. Yeah, and then, would have, oh, he then would have been. You're, then you were in. She would have been like, "Listen, sweetie, then you <laughs> don't file a false report with me." Because then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, also, yeah. I was thinking, well, why would he say pedestrians? And the only thing I can think of is because if he said he hit two cars, around, clearly there'd be damage. Yeah. And car store looked at my truck and was like, "There is zero damage on this truck." You're like, oh wait, there's blood in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so clearly, there couldn't have been any damage. You know, if yeah. they would hit a car, there would have been damage. There was none. There would have been proof. There would have been, right. there would have been you on the camera yeah. hitting two cars and running out. So, Jesus. nothing's happened. So, I'm assuming it's just gone. But isn't that... Who can be that sociopathic to do that? Like, well, do you, you honestly think people are that crazy? I do, first of all. But I think there's really only one thing I can think of to summarize what he deserves. What? He deserves to be cashless on that San Francisco bridge. Oh. And be fine. <laughs> the full toll for... Not having our And cash. we bring it all back. That's what he deserves. Perfect. Well, I don't know about you, Paul, but this was a stirring episode. My voice is gone, so. Oh, well, you know what? Then cancel anything else for the rest of the day. And until next time, it's Matt Rebar. And Paul Laux. Are we sure? Is that correct? Yeah, it's good. Okay, okay. okay.